viewers today i want to do a reaction which has been a favorite of mine for a very long time but was not able to do this because i could not get a particular chemical so we are going to produce in the laboratory today yes okay. and that is called rayon okay. rayon is also called regenerated cellulose yes. so how is rayon made many students ask us this question how do you produce fibers how do you produce this how do you produce that so today we are going to do a very lovely experiment and this is a favorite of mine so what i will do first is first i will ask uh khatija yes sir. to take cotton this is cotton cellulose everyone knows what cotton is this is cellulose the chemical basis of cotton is cellulose so we will take cellulose small pieces of yes, this sir. and dissolve it in a solution made from this and this is the chemical that helps you to do the reaction reaction and this chemical is called basic copper carbonate basic copper carbonate you will take a few grams of this and we will put it in a beaker and then we will dissolve it with a little water and add ammonia solution now this is ammonia when copper any copper salt yes. is mixed with ammonia you get a solution called cupramonium yes which is blue in color and what i will do is take a few of these things. some fumes i'm getting yes here, you so are already getting it. some smell of ammonia, ammonia. Okay. that's right so we will add this into a small beaker yes sir we will mix it up with a glass rod ammonium solution quite a strong solution of ammonia the smell is coming away yes sir and as you can see it's very sticky yeah it is very and whole cotton is dissolved in this and all of the cotton has dissolved in and it has to regenerate yes it has to regenerate and that is how you are going to regenerate okay. it so what i am going to do is take a syringe yes sir i will take out this needle for the time being ask you to fill it up you can fill it up okay sir i'll hold the tube away up to a little bas that should be interview it's very pungent sir yes ammonia is a very strong smelling liquid oh. now just to regenerate it we will need a little bit of so in this beaker i have taken water and i have added some sulfuric acid and i would request you to please inject it below the surface of the acid so you will be able to see a formation of a beautiful rayon that's it keep on going like that that's it wonderful wonderful ah that's nice wow sir a rayon is ready a rayon is ready this is exactly how the regenerated cellulose that is rayon is made in factories this is called the cupramonium process there are different different processes but cupramonium process gives us this kind of so this liquid solution when we are adding into the acid it is solidifying right yes that's right it is solidifying because what is happening can is can i take it out yes take it out no problem will i help you with something that's right now you may be thinking that all cupramonium process is to give us blue colored fibers it is not so if we wash this yes. with lots of water it will become colorless or white 
Okay, and sir. then you can put whatever color you want. So this is one of the ways in which rayon is generated. Even now I can observe that it is getting decolorized. Decolorized in some places. Yeah, you yes, can sir. move it around a little bit and we let us see. Sir, is it so stiff that we can make the cloth? We can use directly like this? No, no. So since we have used a thick injection needle okay. to squeeze it out, it has come like that. But in the industries, they use very thin fibers to produce the cloth. Yes, sir. Now let us do another experiment. And that is with a used refill. Okay. This is a used refill made out of plastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to just light, light it, please. And I'm going to, this is a very common thing known to almost everyone. And heat it in this lighter flame. And then I'm going to start pulling it like this. And you can see that I'm producing a very thin fiber. fiber. This is how artificial fibers like terylene, nylon and dacron are produced. By melting plastic, plastic. pellets. Normally of, any plastic not or... any type of plastic. This I, is polyethylene. Poly. It's not good for making fibers because it is not having those properties. But nylon and terylene. Yes, sir. These are very, very uh, commonly made by this method. However, as you can see, plastic fibers have got a nice elastic. Yes, sir. And that is one of the reasons why you call plastics elastic also. Elastic is the capacity of being extended like this. Did you understand this? So now you know how to produce. And see over yes, here, slowly sir. our color has now gone away and we are now getting a almost whitish color. Maybe. It may take a little bit more time, yes, but sir. that is our experiment. Interestingly, viewers, instead of taking cotton like this, you can use even blotting paper or filter paper or even our uh, okay. tissue. tissue papers like this and you can produce the same type of reaction. As it contains only cellulose. As it contains only cellulose. Cell. Now this is very important. Regenerated cellulose is given the name rayon. So normally the cloth, cotton cloth we will wear no sir? Cotton cloth is Even not produced is... by this method. Okay. It is produced from this particular. So that one Cotton is balls are taken. Or... No, there it is not. Cotton balls are taken, they are combed, then they are spun, and then finally a thread is produced from which the cloth is worn, woven, and then we produce the cloth. Okay. So that's Understood. today's lesson. Thank well, you. I sir. hope you all understood it and enjoyed this experiment as much as I enjoyed today.